Hello everyone, Trix here. And welcome back to Virtual Boy Wario Land. The finale. I could call this part 5. But I am already 99.9% .9 sure this is the final part. Because we've only got one more level to do. One more boss stage. That is the final boss stage though. But still, we're going in. What is the final regular level going to bring us? I see a door in there, first of all. I'm pretty sure there's a door in there. How to get... How to get... Well, first of all, I'm pretty sure normal Wario is not going to be enough. No. I'm clearly, hi clearly hitting it. Doing nothing. Need to come back with a stronger power-up. The pipe we saw... Don't worry, I saw it. <laughs> ah, come on! I'm going to reset. I want this power up. There we go. See, that's where I was. What, what I mean? Oh, it's already the treasure. Really? Is it that easy here? <laughs> okay. Well, like I said, I really think it's pretty annoying in this game that some walls you can't break. With regular dashing Wario, you actually have to be at least Boo Wario in order to break them. I am not the biggest fan of that mechanic. Uh... Okay. I'm not paying attention at all, apparently. Let's quickly switch on my focus mode. Trix, serious mode, serious mode engaged. Trix, being able to talk, apparently disabled. <laughs> Focus mode didn't work, because if you're watching, you might have noticed, I already got hit again. <laughs> hey, I see the key. Hey. Oh. Oh. Okay. I wasn't planning on uh, starting this video with two deaths in the first two minutes, but it almost happened. There's a key up there, but there's also an exit pipe above it, so I'm pretty sure I can't get it from here. Oh, this looks very crowded. The thing is in the background, it seems. Let's make sure I don't get hit by anything here. Yeah. You guys are in the background. There's nothing here. Really? This is just for the power up here? Okay, there we go. It was an accident. I hit the ceiling here, but there's a pipe here. Okay, hey, what do we have? This is all in the foreground. Yeah, I don't have to be afraid for that. There's a door. Man, these screens are pretty crowded with all the enemies in the foreground, the background, and just the regular ground. Yeah, I'm not falling for that trick again. Of course there's another pipe here. This room was way too similar to the previous one, so... You can safely assume the secrets are... ...equally similar. Okay, it seems to be the only secret here. Let's go in. What do we have in here? Oh, there's a power-up hidden there. And another one. <laughs> Can't reach them from here. Let's just continue. This looks suspicious. But I can't ground pound, so never mind. These things move fast, but remember, as you can see, there's a little bit of room left in the platform. Just make use of that. So you don't have to blaze through there. Alright, let's get King Dragon again. The only power-up I feel comfortable with. <laughs> yeah, it's only logical. It's the only power-up that can do every everything, and that's... That's the situation you want to be in when platforming, when exploring in platforming. You want to be able to do everything, otherwise you need to come back again, like uh, the previous level. And I don't mean the boss stage with that. Wait, what? Really? This is not breakable? It looked like to be breakable blocks. Okay, let's just move up then. Did 
it is pretty hectic in all honesty, the background and uh, just the general layout of this level. There's a lot of stuff on screen and even, uh, even in black and white this does not come out too uh, healthy. Still think it's a great decision I did it like this because trust me if I did it in the original red scales. What the, the Virtual Boy originally presents with this game. It's even more painful for your eyes to watch. It only really works if you're able to play this in virtual reality. But I can't record in virtual reality, so... The red scale would only hurt. Just don't forget, it is black, black and white. It's the end already! <laughs> okay, deja vu from the... quote-unquote haunted mansion level. Find the exit before I find anything. Yeah, not really true. I found the treasure at the very beginning. Found it so early, I almost forgot. <laughs> and it's not like that I haven't found the key. I've seen where it is. It's just a matter of how do you get to it. Where do I find the pipe that drops me in that middle section? I'm still not done. There's, there's still room... Oh! Never mind, that sentence does not need to be completed. Just by uh, walking through... <sighs> no, luckily there's uh, power-ups surrounding me. <laughs> I'm getting hit by these spiked balls way too much. For some reason, I'm not registering, registering them as dangerous. I just keep on ignoring them. <laughs> oh, this room is new. I have not seen this one yet. Might as well check it. Oh, there's some hidden blocks here, apparently. Oh, for diamond. I thought there was a... There was not a very big number of diamonds in this level. I'm probably missing one. <laughs> well, there you have it. Not too important. I know where the exit is. So this level is done. I'm still surprised by the fact that the treasure was so easy. It was pretty obvious the door was hidden above the elevator. I just didn't have the power up for it. And the moment I did... Thank you. I even completely forgot that I already had it. Okay, where do you go? Apparently this is still not a dead end. Oh, this is uh, where the pipe in the beginning uh, takes you. Okay, apparently... Uh, that's a full circle then as well. I don't think there's any more secrets here. Might be a wall or a floor I missed somewhere where another coin room is. Oh, apparently there's a hidden power up in there. Yeah, Wario games do that a lot. They love their secrets. That's what I like about the uh, Wario Land games. They're more than just platforming because it's also a very big part exploration. It's more than just platforming what you're doing in Wario Land games. They kind of... All of them have, the, have that. Maybe a little less in Wario Land Shake It. That one is a little bit more challenge based. But Wario Land 2, 3 and 4 especially also have a very big part of uh, exploring besides the platforming you're doing. Making it a little bit unique in comparison to, uh, say, a Donkey Kong, Mario or Yoshi game. Which are the other main platformers of uh, the big Mario franchise. Whenever I speak of big Mario franchise, I, I mean including its spin-offs. Yoshi, Donkey Kong, Wario. That also use the platforming as its genre. Wario is definitely the most exploring based. But we've got everything. We've got the key. The treasure. And the only thing remaining... ...is the mystery of the final boss. Level 14. Of course, even the final boss is going to have a guardian. And he's got homing missiles now, okay? Time for child games is over. Just keep an eye on that thing. 
Oh, apparently you can jump on it. There we go. The final guardian, and it's the only one that didn't manage to kill me. <laughs> okay, let's go take a look at the final boss. Obviously, it's also going to be foreground, background based. Ah, you have a scary face. You also have a pretty big nose. A little bit too obvious. That is your weak spot. Okay, that's what we're going to have to do for this guy. As you can see, we have these... Uh, let's call them trampolines. Which you can use to... Jump to the fore and background. When you're in the background, you also always immediately jump back. It's not like I'm doing it. Does it out automatically. You can only interact with the foreground. If you touch the background one, you immediately jump back. And the goal is obvious. We need to hit this guy in the nose. There we go. You need to wait for him to move up a little bit. Because as you can see, in his regular position, he's too low. You'll jump over his nose and do no damage. And use those same jumps to avoid his attacks. It's the final boss, so this time three hits is not going to be enough. Come on, move up. Oh, oh! Did not expect that. Okay, there's four. I'm pretty sure it's five hits. Might be six. I should have him. He's pretty easy to avoid. His flame attacks are usually the dan most dangerous one, in all honesty. Which I've already proven by getting hit by that. Oh, <laughs> I jumped onto his backside. <laughs> Apparently that's also possible. Come on, move up. Yeah, of course, the farther you get into the fight, the harder it makes it for you. You will have less moments where he uh, jumps upwards. I'm giving you the opportunity to hit him. There we go! Ah, I missed! Come on, one more. Yeah, your hands don't scare me. Those are very easily avoided. Are you moving way too fast now? Yeah, the flame attack you need to watch out for. First he fires at your direction and then they move away from you. Never mind. Trying again. The final few hits are the most annoying part. He barely gives you a chance to hit him anymore. And even if he does, you still need to notice that in time. Because his pattern is predictable, but also pretty erratic. He doesn't always do the same moves Sequentially, sometimes you need to guess whether he's going to jump upwards. First hit is the easiest one, because he starts in a position where you can hit him. So just jump immediately if, when the fight starts, get an easy first hit in. Ah, the famous flame attack. The only thing that has been able to hit me so far. Ah, come on! I dodged that. I call shenanigans on that. Fun and everything. Okay, I was pretty sure it was too high, but apparently it still counts. Can't really say I'm doing better than last time because I got hit earlier. I'm pretty sure I didn't. I was a tiny Wario at this point. Last attempt. Okay, one more, if I count it correctly. Oh. 
<laughs> Fire attack's the only thing! <laughs> that scares me! <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. Okay. Took me two tries, but I got him. And no, don't ask me what that thing is supposed to be. It's a Wario Land game. Everything in a Wario Land game is weird. <laughs> Trust me. Won't get any uh, less worse in the next coming games. Especially Wario Land 4 has some really weird bosses. But anyway, very, very big detour aside. We're back to the door where it all started. We found all of the treasures that uh, got removed from this joint. The moment we fell into the hole. Really feels like we're playing Kirby Superstar now. The great cave offensive. <laughs> we are a rich boy now. What we are doing it for. It's all mine. <laughs> I love how the bag just says coins. <laughs> oh, hello. Ah, that's what that was. Flying carpet. Anyway, credits time. That was it. That was Virtual Boy Wario Land. Pretty short, fun little game for the Virtual Boy. For that reason, probably very, very unknown to most people. But I'm definitely not going to skip out on it, because I'm making a video game library for myself here, and all of the Wario Lands are in that, and it would be weird if this one would be missing then. So I decided to still play this game. Not really too sure if I'm going to do anyone a favor with this game, because even I can see it's not the most interesting game in all of existence. But yet again, I'm still playing it. This is still going to be a part of what I'm creating here. You may never know. There's always people interested in uh, these kinds of games. You may never know. I know there's a couple of people who watch everything I put up. Thank you for that, by the way. <laughs> it's appreciated. Don't get me wrong. But uh, because of that... I don't really uh, assume most people are going to say, wow, amazing game, going to play that on my own. You don't really have to. Nobody's forcing you. If you think this is interesting enough, you can try it. You can uh, find some ways to play it, I'm pretty sure. It's pretty hard to get your hands on this game, so don't think you can uh, walk into a store and find this nowadays. But it is a thing. 
But what we're really here to talk about is the future of Wario Land, of course, because this is a little game in between, you might say, which I'm only putting up because I'd like the Wario Land series to be complete, because otherwise this would, this would be the only missing game, like I said. But the next one is where it really starts becoming interesting, where the Wario Land series really becomes its own thing and really a noteworthy series of its own, I think, and that's Wario Land 2, where Wario Land really becomes... Wario Land as we know it nowadays. That game is going to be the next Wario game I play. I might make a little sidestep for Wario's Woods at some point. It's another puzzle game I own, which is because of its title officially also a Wario game. I think I'm going to do that one first as a weekend project at some point. But for Wario, the next mainstream, Wario Land 2... In my opinion, the first game where the Wario Land series really gets started. Because this is, of course, a little unknown brother in the series. The first one is, in all honesty, nothing more than really Wario trying to break loose from from Mario. It's not called Super Mario Land 3 for nothing. It's still a little bit part of the Mario series. But Wario Land 2 is Wario's real first game, I think. Where the formula for Wario Land really falls into place. That will be his next game I'm going to play in a few months, I'm pretty sure. I'm not going to wait years for that. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, see you back on the Game Boy Color for that at some point. And other than that, enjoy my other projects I'm working on right now. And the new one I'm starting next week. See you folks then. Thanks for watching, if you have. And Treeks out. Later, folks.